Hey guys, it's Chrissy Senpai Art again, playing some more Pokemon challenges, or attempting, because this one, I will warn you now, I had a lot of issues recording it because my computer was, it, it she was having a, she was having a moment, uh, she was having a good moment, uh, of time where she did not want to work, pretty much. Uh, this time I chose Tentacool, uh, I had a lot of, as I said, issues with recording, I'm, I don't know what happened. <laughs> I have some gems deleted. I had the beginning deleted. But here's the stats of our boy Bean. Has that awesome ability. Clear body. And just tentacles. One of those very, I feel like, underrated Pokemon. Because everybody hates them. Because they just fucking pop up wherever you go. But I really like tentacle. Uh, I used a tentacruel in a Pokemon like gym challenge thing on Facebook. And I was a poison type trainer. And I had a lot of fun. Uh, Tentacool, oddly enough, does awful in the first gym. Because I don't learn a water move until like late level 20s if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. I'm gonna put them up on the screen right here. But I've only got Poison Sting and Supersonic. Which is not very good to use in Brock's gym. Oddly enough, this is one of the gyms that I didn't have any issues actually recording. Uh, Misty's gym, I... Don't know where that went. I have no idea where that went. I'm just gonna have to stop recording the way I do because apparently my computer doesn't like that very much. So I'm just gonna have to record every single piece of the playthrough versus stopping and going because my computer hates it. Um, I lost Lieutenant Surge's flight. I got a nice cool gay rainbow effect as you can see. Nice and um, nice and juicy and gay. Uh, don't get mad at me. I'm pan. I'm part of the community. I just like to fucking meme. But that was also not fun. And there's another gym. <laughs> it was Blaine's gym. But Blaine's gym is one of the easiest gyms. And I had surf already. So we'll just we'll just go as we go. You know, we'll just set on down. So I go back to defeat the first rival fight that's optional. Because I really, really need to get as much points in all my stats as possible. Because... I can usually get past the Geodude, but I didn't want to keep grinding on Brock because I felt like that was just going to be useless. Also, I'm going to warn you now. <laughs> Another warning. Um, Erica's part is very, very choppy. I do not know what was going on with my computer then. It was refusing to record everything. The GPU was maxing out. The CPU was maxing out. The memory was maxing out. Like, everything was doing different things, but I got it fixed. I fixed it. She's, she's chill now. Windows computers are great. I love them, if that wasn't obvious, because this bitch is always giving me problems. It doesn't help that um, it's a couple years old already. But anyway, we're gonna we're gonna keep on going, trekking. We got the boulder badge from everybody's favorite perverted anime man, who would totally be cancelled nowadays. Everybody would fucking hate him. And we go get Magikarp. We have to always buy Magikarp, but it cause, because if nobody buys her in this case, who's gonna buy her? And I name it after a brain of marker that I really like the name of called Mex Mepsky? Meps Mexki? I can't pronounce it because I'm an idiot. But I really like those markers. I've never owned one, but they are quite aesthetic. And we choose the Dome Fossil because Kabuto is my favorite boy. And now we're at Missy's gym. Uh, I did eventually beat her, but that was after the second rival battle. Uh, Star you, as we learned from the very first challenge, is a bit... A bit overpowered it feels like it's a recovery spam boy and it's not good so I decided okay we're gonna fight the rival also I named my character after my dog because I accidentally selected boy and just went with it and I named my rival boof which is what I call Ozzy I just call him boofy boy the rival was not too hard I still don't have a water move at level 24 but I do get a poison move which gives me stab tentacles attack isn't great his special attack and his attack attack um, stay pretty almost even it seems obviously he's a bit more of a speedy tank boy um, at least from the stats what I could tell but he didn't have a good time in a lot of this uh, we go save the degenerate from his weird fantasy that he's trying to play out if I could choose to be a Pokemon I honestly think Clefairy would be a good one because Clefairy is so cute. Who doesn't like Clefairy? If you could be a Pokemon, you should tell me which one you would be. 
because I might use that as the next challenge video. I plan on trying to do Gen 4, Gen 5 games. I'm not sure how I would do 3DS games on a computer. Here is also where, uh, I'm just gonna edit out a good chunk of this. You can see I do not know why I'm just getting essentially a, what's akin to screenshot. Her gym wasn't too bad. I just had to outlast pretty much because she would paralyze me a lot or put me to sleep and then just whack me over the head with a board with nails in it. So, her gym wasn't too bad. I battled every, uh, again, I always battle every single person I can run into. I'm going to put a little rules list in the beginning of these videos now. Nobody's ever said anything about it, but just to make it easier, if you want, refer to the rules at the beginning. It's going to be a little, uh, a little, uh, <laughs> a little art picture of me, my dog, and the rules. It just make it easier. Dang. <laughs> I just love these games. Or if you want me to play other, um, Pokemon ROMs, like Pokemon My Ass, it's obviously the top tier Pokemon ROM that exists in this universe. Or, uh, for another one, Pokemon Glazed was actually, like, the first ROM hack I ever got into. Uh, I don't know if any of y'all remember Vizid.com. I'm sure that site gave my computer some nice computer STDs. But I played on it all the time. And then they got taken down by Nintendo because that's what Nintendo does best. I'm not talking shit Nintendo. I understand why you do it. But they weren't even charging anybody. <laughs> I don't know. So we're just going to, again, I'm only a couple minutes into this video because I lost all the gems. Uh thanks to this awesome computer, but Misty went pretty well. I had to go beat the first rival and then go back. Uh, we also beat the fighting dojo guy. We get Hitmonlee because he is my favorite of the two. And now we're on us. <laughs> I'm going to keep saying also. We also lost the rival battle on the boat. Uh, I had to go back and do him a couple times. And honestly, Lieutenant Surge is pretty easy, oddly enough. Because I just kept throwing acid at him. I guess when you do a lot of acid, it's really easy to win battles. Or when you give them acid, they can't function. I don't know how acid works, I promise. Uh, the rival battle in uh, the spooky ghost tower was not too bad to do. Um, we go defeat Mama Marowak, go get the flute. Because we gotta go wake up Snorlax to go get one of the best items in the game. What you basically do is you, you beat up one of the most rare Pokemon in the game, excluding legendaries, and then pull food out from under where he was sitting. Because that's not gross. And probably wasn't in his butt crack. Um, now we can go buy Ice Beam. Because I replaced Attract with it. Because Attract worked in the beginning, but now I'm not, it's not really working for me. Uh, <laughs> there's a couple of these battles where you just see me consistently get my ass whooped. Um, I, I just get status effect. 100%. I don't know how. I got so unlucky to get 100% like attract, essentially, or paralyze. It would 100% trigger, and I'm like, what? What do here? So, yeah, that's fun. We're on to the next rival battle. Gyarados is such a pain in the butt. I wasn't really sure... Who would be the easiest Pokemon to give the rival? I gave him Venusaur because he's grass, so he resists me, but maybe Blastoise would have been better because he isn't. Maybe Blastoise would have been better because he's not weak against eyes. I don't know. Who knows? Uh, Gio Giovanni? I'm not sure how you say his name properly outside of English terms. Um, he was landslide easy. Never have issues with him with Tentacruel. Or tentacle. Uh, we go beat the psychic gym leader. Uh, you will see, I left it in the video. When I went to go get the return TM, I taught it to Pidgey. And I had to reset from a good portion of the game and go all the way back because my dumbass gave it to Pidgey. Can I get an F in the chat? But I just went through, replayed it all wasn't a big deal. And now we're at Giovanni's gym. Again, lost Blaine completely. I lost everything. I feel bad. Honestly, even releasing this video, I don't want you guys to think I'm lying to you because I usually show you all the battles. We don't do any items but held items and all that stuff. I've never done otherwise. 
I, j I just really wanted to get this out to show you how strong our boy is. And my computer was like, nah. Uh, we're at the next rival battle. Again, Gyarados is kind of a pain in the butt. Not necessarily in this fight, but in later fights, he just beats... He, he beats the... What am I? Squid? I know I'm not an octopus. I'm a jellyfish. What am I fucking stupid? <laughs> I'm a jellyfish. So it's quite easy to beat me. All you have to do is just, you know, squish me really hard. Honestly, I was surprised he had gotten this far. He, the only struggle gym we really had was Brock. Um, because, again, it's hard to grind on level 5 max Pokemon when, or what is it, 5 or 6? I'm not exactly sure on the levels in Viridian Forest. But it's really hard to grind on those. When all you have is Poison Sting, Supersonic, and then I got, um, what was it, Constrictor or something? Yeah, 10 out of 10. Uh, now we're at Lorelei. She was a pain in the butt. <laughs> She's always the worst gym leader for me for some reason. Like, not gym leader. She's always the worst Elite Four member, and I'm not exactly sure why. It just, it's weird to me that she is. But I guess because I mainly specialize in water and grass. Neither of them have much of an advantage when her types are mostly water and ice and a little bit of psychic. Um, so maybe that's why I mostly struggle against them, but I do have an idea for next challenge. It's not water or grass. If you can guess it, again, I will gladly make a video on one that you want me to do. I have to figure out, again, how to do DS ones. I'm not exactly sure. I don't want to give my computer more problems by downloading some bootleg shit. But, if someone can provide me a link that is safe, I'll gladly download one of them. Because I love the DS games, I love the Pokemon from them. And there's so many underrated water and grass types. Anyway, we're going off a little bit of a tangent. Bruno! Bruno's usually really easy, but that's because I usually have either really strong Pokemon, like Wilmer was a bit more on the attacky HP side. He was not very, oddly enough, he wasn't very tanky. He was just a big, big boy, big round boy. Um, and Star, you could learn Psychic, so, and, you know, game over. Uh, I can't remember if Tentacool. <laughs> Or Tentacoo. I'm gonna keep mixing their names up. I can't remember if Bean can learn that or not. Uh, but I didn't want to teach it to him. Because I wanted this to showcase what he, as a water poison jelly boy, can do. Agatha, complete walk in the park compared to Lorelai and Bruno, who just kept sending me back to the graveyard. I did have to use some of the rare candies that my meows picked up. I always had my little... I hear noises. I always had my little Meowth squad to pick up rare candies, and this this one I was really lucky. I got like 15 rare candies from like between picking them up in the game and just my Meowth cat crew picking them up. He was not too bad, mostly because I had Ice Beam, but I did have to switch up my leftovers for a Cherry Berry because if I was paralyzed, I was gonna lose. Uh, between Hyper Beam and honestly, just Hyper Beam. I couldn't last one hit, pretty much. Now we're at the final rival battle. He beat me a good couple times. And it sucked. Mostly because of Gyarados. This is what I was talking about. For some reason, this Gyarados just thrashes the absolute hell out of me. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why he was so hard for me to take down. Because even my return wasn't that strong. Again, to no Tentacle is not Tentacle is not the master of power like a core fish when it came to attack. But I didn't expect him to be this enable. So I pumped him up full more candies, because that's what we're calling steroids these days. Candy. Um and just try again. Pidgeot, joke, Alakazam joke, ride on joke, Gyarados, had a toxic him, and prayed to everything that I'd win. And then I lost, because Arcanine has extreme speed. And I'm like, damn it. Now I got another problem. His little baby Growlithe never gave me any problems, but damn, does this Arcanine give me problems. So, inevitably, I do give a couple more candies. You don't see it yet. Um, sorry about the weird 
I turn off the animations, but for some reason a couple of them still activate. Uh, I did do the double team. I replaced Toxic with double team because I'm a degenerate. And I wanted to see if that could get me through without Gyarados chipping all my health away. And it, it worked. All I need to do is survive one extreme speed, and it missed. And then I have to beat Venusaur, which he thankfully can't do much to our boy. And then we win. It sucks that I had to, at the very end, crack down to a double team strategy, because a lot of people don't like it. But I wanted to see what he can do, and double team's part of his move pool, so... I feel like... Bork, bork. I feel like a double team is a very fitting move for Tentacool. Um, I don't really know why. But, you know what we do next in all these Leaf Green playthroughs. We gonna take him to the second Elite Four, but first we gotta go rescue a child from a really creepy hypno that kidnapped her in the woods. Um, it is kind of an annoying process to get these, but it's always worth it to see if my boy, who I have trained up so hard, can beat the Elite Four a second time with much stronger Pokemon and much higher levels than before. And here we go. Lorelai wasn't too bad, actually. She, uh, she didn't give me any trouble this time around, comparatively. But here's where it, um, it gets a little painful. It feels like everybody has Earthquake. <laughs> or Thunderbolt, but Thunderbolt does less damage than Earthquake, because Tentacool has much more special defense than defense. And I was just, I was just getting pummeled. I tried the double team method, it was not working. I went over and over and over again. Now, his Steelix wasn't really part of the problem. I tried to set up a bunch of double teams against him. But his... A bunch of people on his team knew Earthquake, and I just couldn't take them down fast enough. Quicker than they were taking me down. Which was really annoying. Uh, I, you know, I wanted to see how strong my boy was. But eventually I got past him. Eventually I got past him or at Agatha. We're at level 99, by the way. <laughs> uh, as always, we always save room for one more level. Just in case our boy needs a little bit of a pick-me-up. And he just can't make it by himself. I'm not going to tell you if he can do it or not. But at the moment, we're doing pretty good with Agatha. But you know who knows Earthquake? Arbok. All of them know Earthquake, it feels like. It's like everybody has Earthquake but me. That would be nice if I could have learned it. Tentacool does not have a very big move pool compared to some of the Pokemon that I've used, especially like Staryu. I always compare everything to Staryu because that's like my gold standard in my mind, at least for the type of Pokemon I like to play with. Um, of a really good Pokemon, especially like a really good first evolution. But here's all my stats. Again, my defense is a little poopy when my defense is the thing that I'm weakest against, which is ground. Um, and then Gyarados took me out one hit. 10 out of 10. I felt a little defeated, but you know, I don't think our boy's gonna do it because I retried that so many times after this, or before this, I mean. So we're gonna let him evolve. We're gonna let him go to maximum power. A tentacle. And I'm gonna show you the stats. This boy is thick. He's a thick boy. I went back and just restarted it. Now I have a lot more defense than I did before, so I can take an Earthquake a lot better. More health, speed. I never knew Tentacruel was that fast. Like, he ain't the fastest, but damn, he fast for a big jelly boy. Um, so, I don't know what- like, he has, like, remnants of squid and, like, jellyfish at the same time. Squid jelly? Because, you know, squids have, like, the beak. Anyway, I'm me and animals, I swear. So, we go through completely sleep, <laughs> completely sweet Lorelai's team. I taught him Sludge Bomb instead of Double Team, because Sludge Bomb is a very strong poison move. And I'm like, you know what? He needs to have a move set that speaks to him. Which is Return, because he loves me. Surf. Sludge Bomb, and Ice Beam. I feel like this was a very good move choice for him, and obviously he got through pretty much without a hitch for the first two already. Um, I'm not, you know, I, I just, <laughs> I'm not a professional. Uh, I don't strive to be 
100% perfect, if that makes sense. I just do what's fun for me. And it, what's fun for me is watching my tentacle wipe the floor with people. I know Tentacle could beat it the first time. He did very well. But just too many people have fucking Earthquake. Way too many people have Earthquake. And that was his downfall. I don't think, honestly, any poison Pokemon, except maybe wheezing or coughing, technically be coughing, could get through easily because he has Levitate, if I'm not mistaken. And like Zubat because he flies. But Earthquake was such a big problem. And you don't think about that with a water Pokemon being weak to Earthquake. Like, I always hear weird noises. Like, I don't think that. That's not the first thing I think of. But we did die against Lance. I had to do the cherry berry method once more. Because getting paralyzed by that stupid Gyarados or the stupid Dragonair, I forget who comes out first, is annoying. So we're going to give him the cherry berry, the cherry berry and let him heal himself so we can tank through this. Because I need to not be paralyzed because I can take out the whole team if I'm not. I still, again, I can't take too many physical hits. Here we go with the Kingdra. This time Kingdra wasn't a problem. In some other runs, Kingdra, Kingdra is quite annoying. But we save and we continue on. Give him back his leftovers so he can just nom on him in the battle. And now we're going to try to defeat our rival again. And it, it went pretty well. <laughs> um, his Pokemon weren't really all that good against Tentacruel the first time, or Tentacle the first time, and they're even worse against a strong boy. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed, as you can see, once he dies, there we go, that Tentacruel can win. And I always enjoy evolving them at the end, because I feel like it's like him rocky when he gets to the top of the staircase. It's like he finally hit his, his big moment to shine. But I hope you guys like the video. Uh, I plan to hopefully do more of these. I do my best. I work like 40 plus hours a week. I gotta sleep. You know, I gotta vibe. Do things that relax me. Which just does relax me. But it takes quite some time to edit. And I also have to do art. You know. There's a lot of things I have to do in my normal day to day life. And I hope you guys aren't too upset that I lost a lot of the footage. Thanks to Strokey the computer. You know, my computer's trying to be too much like me, and that's a bit of a problem. But I hope you guys enjoy, because I had a lot of fun. I have a lot of fun making these. Um, leave below if you think of any Pokemon you want to see. I'd be willing to do even Gen 1 and Gen 2 games, even though I'm not too familiar. I have physical copies of the games. I'm just not very familiar with them. I didn't play them as much, because I was essentially brought up with Leaf Green and Emerald. That's why I play them all the time. Um, but let me know if there's certain games you want to see, certain Pokemon, certain types. I've even wanted to do, like, trainer type challenges, like getting all the available Pokemon to one type of trainer, like, um, like a gambler or a juggler or something like that. I know there's some people who have done that, but I want to do that as well. That'd be really cool, because I could do a swimmer team and just have a shit ton of water Pokemon. But, again, let me know. I'd be down to do a lot of things, as long as you don't mind that these don't really get to come out regularly anymore, because when I first started doing these, I was very, very sick. Um, and it, it's nice to not be like that anymore, but now I gotta work um, that I'm not sick anymore. But thanks for watching. Uh, there's no- I didn't meme too much in this video, there wasn't really anything going around me because it's in the middle of the night. Uh, but. Hope you enjoy the creepy noises in the background. Maybe you can hear the crickets or the beautiful whirring of my computer's fan. But I hope you guys have a good night, morning, afternoon, evening, whatever it is when you're watching this video. Good vibes to everyone and have a real cool day.